Hi everybody! Um, so, I am going to do a bit of a sit down video this time. I popped on my Facebook and Instagram if anybody had any questions and I was just going to sit down and just answer some. I am just sat on the lounge floor and I thought, you know what, let's just answer some questions um, and yeah, let's just kick it off. Um, okay, so somebody said, is it your dream to eventually be recognised as a singer-songwriter in your own right? Yes. All in all, that would be, that's the ultimate dream, isn't it? Just to be able to um, make a living out of writing my own music and then going out and performing that to all of you lot and hopefully you liking it. Uh, but yeah, I mean... That is the ultimate dream, hopefully, maybe one day, who knows. Any possibility of you making another solo album in the future? 100% yes, that is something that I am so looking to do, it's not even funny. Um, I've um, got loads of old songs that I've, you know, that I've written in the past. Um, all last year and probably the year before I've been writing. So I've got plenty to be going off. So yeah, I can't wait to hopefully, um, you know, once all this bloody nonsense is over with, um, to get in the studio and create something, hopefully something quite nice for your ears. <laughs> but yeah, def defo. How and when did you realise that you sounded like Stevie Nicks? Uh, it's a funny one because um, people always ask me like when I when I go out on tour and stuff and um, we meet people obviously after the show and they always ask oh you yeah. know you know a, a lot of them say that I sound like Stevie Nicks and I'm always like do I <laughs> I don't know I just can't hear it I don't know if it's because obviously I guess I just hear something different like when I'm singing maybe it's because I'm used to my own voice but. I've never thought that I have really sounded like Stevie Nicks. Um, it's always other people that have said, "Oh, actually, yes, yeah, you've got you've got like similar qualities and stuff like that um, as Stevie Nicks." But I mean, it's definitely not a bad thing, is it? Because she's got a bloody great voice. So um, yeah, I never I never really did realise, to be honest. Um, it was other people that said, "Oh, actually, yeah, you sound a bit like Stevie Nicks." So. Do you ever get frustrated having to replicate the original vocal performance rather than applying your own interpretation? No, I don't. Um, because again, it kind of goes off with the same thing. Like I don't, obviously I must do something. There must be something like, con like subconsciously that I do to maybe change my voice up a bit. Um, you know, maybe make it a, that, that, like a tiny bit... Um, uh what's what's the word nasally if you will or um things like that or um she has a lot of vibrato in her voice so i i do i know i do add that on but i don't ever think like right okay jess you've got to change your full-on voice to sound like stevie nicks like i don't i don't do that any fleetwood mac song you would like to add into the running list Um, I mean, it's not, it's not exactly a Fleetwood Mac song, but it is a Stevie Nicks song and I really love Rooms on Fire. I think it's such a great tune and, um, actually when I first started Rumours, we did, we did do that, that one, um, but we definitely need to bring it back because I think it's just great and it's, it is, it is just a, a tune and we need that in the set next year. What age were you when you started singing? I'll tell this story and everybody laughs at me for telling it, but I'm going to tell it you anyway. Um, it was always, it's always a moment in my, in my mind of when it became like a thing. And I think it was my 11th birthday part. I think it was my 11th. Could be making that up, but it was somewhere along there. And um, I had a party and um, it was fancy dress, just... I'll tell you just because like, it's, it's totally irrelevant to the story, but you know, I'll, t I'll tell the full story as I normally do. Yeah, it was fancy dress party. I was dressed as a clown, the classic clown. And um, 
it was karaoke time and I got up and I, and I did a karaoke. I can't remember what song, so that's annoying. But I remember after then people were like, oh, oh, Jess can sing. Mm, there you go. Oh, oh, actually she can, she can hold a tune. <laughs> so um, yeah, but from a young age, just always, I've always sung. I got quite a few of this question. Um, have you met any of the real Fleetwood Mac? I would absolutely love to say yes, but I haven't. How boring is that? Um, yeah, I mean, I'd love to. Who wouldn't? Um, but unfortunately, no. Will you and the Classic Rock Show come to Sweden? We would love to. I definitely um, would love to come to Sweden. Post-COVID, do you think either RFM or CRS could head down to Australia again? Uh, hell yes, please, OMG. I've been to Australia once before, two years ago. Um, I went and saw my friend, she was travelling there for a bit, so I went down for like three weeks. And it was bloody, bloody wonderful. It was really, really great. So absolutely would I love to go and sing there. Yeah massively so hopefully one day in the future who knows we can hop on that plane and uh, come and see you all in australia which band do you prefer to play with rumors or classic rock oh oh can i can i say i'm gonna have to say So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this has been okay. I hope, I hope it's been a bit fun and like something a bit interesting. And yeah, I guess that's all from me. And I will see you soon with another vid. Bye.